I was like, so what? So I guess the, the question is, yes. why did you feel comfortable enough to talk about an issue like that, especially an issue that's a hotbed amongst yeah. our people? Why do you feel comfortable enough to add your two cents into the ether? Sure. An ADOS dude, ADOS dude, there was an ADOS dude named Bill something. Bill the icon. Bro, bro, bro. All the dirty laundry. So Vlad. As you know, over the past year or so, he's fallen out uh, with several of his past guests. Even before then, you know, people would come on to the show. He had a fallout with Monique um, over how the content would be uh, adjudicated once it was in the can, whether Monique would have access to it or not. And there was a dust up about that. Um, bad blood. Uh, Umar Johnson, Dr. Umar Johnson went on, did an interview after the interview was over. He expressed his uh, displeasure at some of the ways that Vlad uh, captioned uh, the segments that he published on YouTube. Uh, so it's not new, uh, but the most uh, explosive dust up uh, happened about a year ago uh, when he fell out um, with uh, some of his most uh, potent and, and popular regulars uh, being Lord Jamar. Uh, of Brand Nubian, shout out to Lord Jamar uh, with the United Mean God cast and comedian Godfrey and shout, to, shout out to Godfrey um, with his podcast as well uh, the name um, it slips me at the moment but uh, check out both of their podcasts and um, subscribe but they fell out with Vlad uh, when Vlad uh, again had D.L. Hughley on the show and he took this opportunity to express his displeasure at something that Minister Louis Farrakhan has said. Um, I believe it was maybe his uh, July 4th of July speech or something. Like I said, it was about a year ago. Um, and he gave a speech. Uh, Vlad hopped on with DL um, to complain to DL um, about a line from the speech in which Farrakhan said something. Um, and I probably have it. But I got a bunch of clips lined up. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about so, it. Yeah. Just for a little background, in case I miss anything, uh, we're going to let Lord Jamar break it down. And I'm going to give my reaction because that's what we're doing here. I don't, I don't know, know if it was, it was a week, week or so ago. ago. There was a big, big thing, thing on the, on the internet, internet where, where Vlad did an interview with uh, D.L. Hughley and basically he misquoted the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrell. He, uh, he heard a portion of a uh, speech that he gave where he used an analogy of using a rock of truth. Not really, not a physical rock, but a rock of truth to bash one over the head with. Um, <laughs> Lord Jamar made me laugh. <laughs> a rock of truth. Let me stop. Uh, but go ahead. <laughs> Vlad heard the part just about the rock get to heart because it was being talked about you know Jewish people and you know had a conversation with DL that looked very misleading to those that saw the whole clip once um, once it was brought to his attention that there was more to the clip and I believe I may have been the one to bring it to his attention. Uh, and again, <clears throat> and just to break this up, it seemed like with this situation, um, I guess maybe because it was Louis Farrakhan and his tumultuous history uh, with the Jewish community. Um, and, you know, I think that Vlad just figured uh, for the culture, being that the culture... Um, the Jewish culture that he figured he was going to go ahead and take a stand. This was, this was the rock, uh, the hill 
that he decided to, you know, die on. So, because Lord Jamal clearly went behind the scenes and tried to educate him. And, you know, Vlad being stiff-necked, um, insolent, and a huge hypocrite decided to continue to push the line. Let's go. Um, I recommended that, you know, something had to be remedied. So within 24 hours, uh, Vlad edited out his comments in the, uh, in the clip where he accused the minister and, and he, he also, also changed, changed the title of the uh, of, of the, the clip. clip. But, but he didn't give a formal apology, which I advised him he should give. Again, you got a black friend. You got a black friend who's willing to stand by your side, to come to you behind the scenes, to pull your coattails, to put you on and give you some free game and say, hey, Vlad, you're fucking up right now. But you have a chance to fix this shit and I suggest you avail yourself of the opportunity. But again, Vlad, Vlad being stiff-necked, insolent, and a hypocrite decided that this was going to be the hill that he would die on. Lord Jamar tried to... I can't. Um. Subsequently, he did that. Shout out to you, Yamaz. Thanks for still tapping in. Happy. <laughs> People still weren't happy as I thought they would, wouldn't be. Um. I made another attempt. You know. That. Sure. sure like like, like this, this is this is this is, is, this is uh... and even the bible tells you you know and i'm paraphrasing i can't remember i believe it's a proverb 22 maybe 22 8 something like that where it says if your brother <clears throat> does something to you uh that makes you angry bring it to that brother and if you guys can come to an agreement or some understanding about it, then you have gained a brother. You have gained a friend. And to me, in this situation, it looked like Vlad was ready to break it off. You know, this is not looking good for you right now, bro. You know what I mean? This is and again, because even if you look at some of the clips with Lord Jamar, Lord Jamar would consistently challenge Vlad about a lot of his views about a lot of his comments he would question vlad i heard you I, people said you was talking shit about dr sabi yep okay let's talk about it let's talk about it okay let's, let's talk go. about because mucus is the enemy he fucking okay, well, exposed that for, and he for, first okay mm -hmm. for, first of all let's just let's just look at some facts yes okay. let's. dr sabi does not have an actual medical degree. He has yeah. a certificate of uh -huh. healing. It's a piece of paper that says okay. certificate of healing. So what? So to me, he's as much of a doctor as Dr. Dre. See, you're trying to be funny right now, but <laughs> that's some bullshit. Because although he doesn't have a certificate from the white man's fucking school, this motherfucker has been studying homeopathic medicine for most of his fucking life and probably knows more than most doctors know about this fucking field. Okay, so someone like me doesn't necessarily need the approval of, of the powers that be to, to, to let me know if somebody's an expert or not. I'm gonna test their knowledge, I'm gonna see what they know, and I'm gonna decide for myself if this man is a doctor. And I'm telling you, that man was a doctor. I don't give a fuck what they say, but continue. To the point to where he basically asked Vlad, what makes you think you have the right to comment on black culture? I was like, so what? So I guess the, the question is, yes. why did you feel comfortable enough to talk about an issue like that, especially an issue that's a hotbed amongst yeah. our people. Why do you feel comfortable enough to add your two cents into the ether? Sure. 
because if I as a black man start to come in and, and, and make commentary on, on the culture of the Jews and what they should do, what they shouldn't do, how they behave, how they act and, and begin to characterize them based on stereotypes and the, and the like, you know, Vlad's going to clearly uh, he's going to get his pennies in a bunch. Something that you don't understand who the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, what he represents to a lot of people in the black community. Okay, and to seem like you're disrespecting that is not cool. And especially an elder. You know, for some people, um, thank you, Dollar Back. For some people, the minister is like our modern day Malcolm X, our modern day, uh, you know, Martin Luther King uh, to that degree. So, you know, you really want to look like you're disrespecting people of that caliber. I really think you should uh, swallow your ego and uh, apologize. He did agree with me. Felt like, you know, whatever he does would probably not be good enough in certain people's eyes. Feels like what he did felt like that was his correction and that was his way of remedying it. Said, all right. Thank you, KWV. I appreciate you. Um, yes, yes, I will, I will be, be stuff, stuff, putting stuff on, on uh, Patreon, on, but, but, um, Patreon. So I let them know, I said, okay, okay. You, you know, know I'm going to let, let the people know, know though, I told you to apologize. apologize. And I, you, you know, know, keep it real, real like, you know what I mean? Said he understood, so, you know, let the record reflect that although all of y'all that felt like he should have apologized to the minister... I agree. I agree. I agree. Should have apologized. Apologize. Um, you know, know. And I, I did, did what, what I could, I could do to strive to remedy the situation. situation.